I know making elixirs at first can seem very intimidating and very challenging, but in this video I'm going to show you that it can be very simple, very quick, and very easy, and you can make yourself a very potent, very healing, a very delicious drink with uh, a lot of powerful and beneficial ingredients. And actually in this video I'll show you how to do it with just five ingredients, and really this whole process could just take you a couple minutes, and you, all, you can get all the ingredients you know, just at your local health food store. It's all really common stuff. It's all really easy. It's all really simple. And it's just designed just to show you something quick and easy that you can do to get yourself going and making yourself elixirs every single day. So here you go. So you can see here in front of me I have basically five ingredients plus my blender with already some tea in it. So let's say you don't want to boil up you know, a bunch of herbs. You don't want to buy herbs. You don't have to like deal with all of that whole part of the process. Well, what you can do is just go to your health food store or even like Myers and Kroger's now are starting to carry, um, you know, something like yerba mate, <clears throat> which is a rather stimulating herb. But, you know, if you're used to drinking coffee or you need that stimulation in the morning, it's good. I like it every now and again. It's, a, you know, it's a good herb that has, you know, some beneficial properties. Or also you could do uh, Tulsi tea, which is holy basil. And again, holy basil is a really uh, powerful adaptogen and a tonic herb from the Ayurvedic system. And both of those take five or ten minutes to steep, and they're both pretty cheap and affordable. Anyone can steep herbs. It's simple. Anyone can heat up water and put a tea bag in it. That's quick and easy. Let's say you don't want to make a nut milk. You don't want to use coconut oil. You don't want to mess with all these other ingredients. Just get yourself, you know, this is hemp milk. You can get almond milk or, you know, whatever it is that you like. And this will just give the drink some calories, some fat, some protein, and actually turn it into more of a meal. Next, you'll have, you know, your herbal extract, whether that's reishi or cordyceps or chaga or sasan or hoshu, or whatever it is that you're working with or, you know, go through cola or whatever you have. So you'll add that into your drink. So that's only, you know, just your tea your nut milk, your herbs, that's just three ingredients. But let's say you want to make it taste kind of sweet and delicious. Well here I have some frozen cherries that I'll add into my drink and you can just use you know frozen cherries, frozen blueberries, strawberries, whatever it is that you like. I'm in this drink going to be using, you can see these goji berries floating in here, I'm going to be using gojis and cherries. And then if you want it even more sweet and delicious, let's say you're using a particularly bitter herb, just add, you know, a tablespoon or two of some raw honey or agave or whatever it is that you have around the house, even if it's just like maple syrup or something, whatever it is that you can put in your drink to get going. So a quick recipe would be, you know, 12 to 16 ounces of your tea, um, you know, 8 ounces or so of your nut milk, about a teaspoon or two of your herb, and then a handful or so of frozen fruit, a tablespoon of honey, throw that in your blender and then in less than just a couple of minutes you have yourself a really potent and delicious elixir. And that's just how making an elixir could be super quick, super easy, and super simple. You don't have to buy you know a bunch of bulk herbs that maybe you don't know how to work with, maybe you don't feel like spending hours you know cooking something or having to deal with that whole side of the process. That's fine. You know sometimes I just like to do it just like this quick, simple and easy where I can have my tea, I can have you know, some fruit and things in there to make it taste good, or like cacao and maca if you want to make it more complex, but right now it's just simple. And then you know, a nut milk, or and then your herb, and then you're set. And that's five ingredients, you throw it in the blender, you blend it up, and you're out the door in just a couple minutes. Now, if you have coffee in the morning, instead of tea, that could be coffee, no problem. If that's what you're using, go for it. Just add your herbs into it, add your nut milk, and you have yourself like a quick, simple latte kind of a drink.